So if you haven't made the observation by the title that this is another lesson video, um, I'm letting you know it is once again another lesson video and it's another solo lesson video because that's all your girl knows how to do. So this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people. Explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, there are no ads, and they are always launching new premium classes so that you can follow wherever your creativity takes you. I think one of the best classes I've recently taken on Skillshare is called Finding Fulfillment, Using Pivots to Power Your Creative Career by Emma Gannon, who is an author, broadcaster, and podcast host. This class was awesome um, just because it's something that I believe in, and I just think it's really important to keep reassessing assessing why you're doing something, what you're getting out of it, where you want to be in the future, do you feel fulfilled, and then just like constantly weighing that against what you're doing and how you're able to make a living. So yeah, I think this class does a really great job of highlighting that if you want to check it out. Whether you're a beginner or a pro, you're a creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill set. When you join, you can try some of Skillshare's awesome classes. Experience real-time inspiration as you connect with popular teachers while watching along with other members. Skillshare offers membership with meaning. Connect with the support of fellow creatives and enter a community of encouragement, communication, and inspiration. The first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in the description below will get a free one month trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. Let's dive in. The first part, you're gonna be starting out, uh, sliding from the 14th to 16th fret on the G string with your middle finger on your right hand. Then you're gonna hit 14, 16 on the D with your first finger on your left hand, so. And that is 17 on that B string. 18, 19, 18. And on the 14. That's the first part. Second part, you're gonna go up to the 18 again on the G string. So 18, 19, 19 on the high E. 18, 19, 19 on the high B. Then you're gonna transition out of that going So that's 18, 19, 14, 16, and skip a string down to the A string on the 14th fret. You're gonna just basically rest your pinky down right where it's at on the 17 of the high E. And you're gonna pull off down to the 14. Then you're gonna move your ring finger that's on that 16 down a fret, or sorry, down a string, and you're gonna so I know I'm a little bit out of tune. Um, all my guitars are super wonk right now. It is negative 12 degrees outside and the moisture is literally being sucked out of everything. Like it is literally being pulled out of my soul right now. So I've done what I can to get my guitars as good as they can, but even the humidifier running 24 seven is not enough. So things are a little bit out of tune. Then you hold that for a minute. Third part, you're gonna start on the 17th fret of the B string, sliding up to the 19th. Third part starts on the 17th fret of the high B string, slides up to 19, 14, 16 on the G, 19 on the high E, 18, 19 on the G, and then you have the 17 and 21 fret. So that's that whole third part. That's just, um, I don't even use my right hand there. I just go. Uh, and that's basically 11 on the G string, then 12, 11 on the D. Then 9 on the A. 7, 9 on the D. So. the whole third part. For the fourth part, you're going to have this little run that starts like, and that's just 7, 9, 12 on the, uh, and that's just 7, 9, 12 on the A, 7, 9, 12 on the D, 7, 9, 11 on the G, 10, 12, 15 on the B, And that is 14 on the E, to 12, 17, 14, and then 11. So together, those parts sound like this. And then for the next part, you're going to be starting on the 14th fret of the high B. And that 15 is just a pull off, so... Okay, this next part of the song 
I think is the hardest, um, but it doesn't sound like it, but it's just, it's just kind of awkward to play, so it might take a minute to get up to speed. But you're going to be starting on the 17th fret of the high B string and then hitting the 14-14 on the G and D string, so... <laughs> the same shape up to 19 and 16 so and then you have 22 and then 19 19 and then that next part is going to go 21 19 19 22 19 19 so and then you're gonna go and that's 22 2019 okay and to end the solo you're just gonna go And that's uh, 1921, 23, and the 19 starts on the D string. So 1921, 23 on the G. 21, 19, 19. Slide down to the 11th, 12th, the D string. And then 14, 11. Okay, so that's the whole lesson. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a ton of fun writing it. Um, Derek actually wrote the backing track, which was really cool. Um, if you do want access to the backing track and the solo to practice for yourself, as well as the tabs, feel free to subscribe to my Patreon. Um, I'm forever working on getting better at my Patreon and trying to be more involved and engaged, but I am eternally grateful to all of my patrons. They seriously help support everything I'm able to do. And so if you want to be a part of that, my Patreon link will be in the description below. And thank you to Skillshare per usual. They are seriously awesome and I do really believe in what they have to offer. Otherwise, I would not be doing these promo videos for them. So, I'll see you around.